All right, the wait is over, the, bo the bots are back online, and we are free to finally exist again. Hello, my name is Shadow the Wait, and welcome to the BBR up season. What, did you think we were actually going to get into the real thing? No, 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 we must wait, my friends. Welcome to the Breedjex Battle Royale Summer Scramble, and we have quite the team on our hands today. Let's not waste any time. First things first... The Iron Valiant. So, I learned how to do the fusion dance, and because of that, we get to kill things in 27 different ways. It's not quite as deadly as most people hype it, hype it up to be at the beginning of Scarlet and Violet, but it's still very deadly. And overall, this thing is supposed to be bad for our offense. Well, sort of. Truthfully, the real threat is the Ogre. So, funny thing, we're allowed to use every form of Ogre Pawn. We can't quite Terra, we'll get to that in a minute, but we still get to use very, uh, very versatile skill set in order to kill things. Mainly all four forms of Ogre Pawn, which you can see its abilities right there. Not only that, a basically stronger judgment due to the 1.2 times boost Ogre Pawn gets in all its moves. And yeah, this thing might be a better sweeper than Valiant, depending on the situation. Also, it has quite a good utility with its type changing forms. And I said it couldn't Terra, so who can Terra? Dirge is here! Here's what, here's the deal. We can tear it into anything we want, but we have to tell our opponents. And because we have to tell our opponents, the surprise of offensive Terra is basically gone. So, why do that? If anything, it would turn most Terras into coin flips. So I figured, I'll just play it safe and use a defensive Terra. Like, say, Skeledurge. This thing, I say it in the sidebar, this is the panic button. And we are going to use it. And we're not the only ones going to be needing a panic button, because... Eevee is here! No, Ursa Luna Blood Moon! I just wanted to make thumbnails with this thing. This thing makes thumbnails by itself, you already know. This thing is a deadly sweep with Calm Mind into Blood Moon into... I don't know, whatever move. It's a Tinkaton on crack. And Tinkaton's already on crack, so you know that's saying something. Next up, the bunny duck. Look at it. Don't look actually. Stop sus. Like this, despite this thing's reputation as a deadly offensive sweeper with things like Aqua Step and Moxie, I just wanted the rapid spinner. Continuing a tradition of me drafting all the right mons for all the wrong reasons. Still, it does hit insanely hard, and it got knock up to further boost its toolkit. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Next up, Grafai, the prankster. I said its ability, yes I know. So here's the deal. Grafai is just annoying. It's not gonna do a lot. Knockoff isn't as special as it was before. Priority Toxic's good and all, but not great. And the priority uh, parting shot thing was done better by Grimmsnarl. But dang it, it just does what it needs to do. And it's gonna do that, being a valuable poison type member of the team, as we need a T-Spike Absorber. And finally, returning from the PWC, Psych Bazaar. Don't worry, I forgot it was from PWC too. We never actually used it there. And much like in PWC, it can't run Shed Tail. It's fine. It still has amazing utility, even after. It's like even after two waves of DLC. I mean, home, not Indigo Disc. This thing, like, Rapid Spin, is still rare. I know we already have one in Quack Ball, but our speed tiers were a bit lacking, so I figured this would help us. And yeah, that's our team. A bit of a short one today, but that's because it's only 8 Mon. Technically 7 because we have Eevee, but hey, that just means my job is easier. I have less editing to do. Haha, <laughs> see you guys in the first battle. 